So Robin, we've been speaking a lot obviously about birdsong, it's kind of the theme of this episode, but um, I wanted to ask you, is there any particular bird song that's that's your favourite? Um, interestingly, when I talked before about walking around Paris in the, in the neighbourhoods and I keep hearing a song and every time I'm like, what is that? What is that bird? And it's always a blackbird. Every time I like, I hear something, I think, what is that? And then I like look it up and I'm like, it's a blackbird. Of course, it's a blackbird again. So a blackbird for the moment is my, it, it, I don't know. It's just uh, every time it gets me as a kind of local one at least. Um, and from the album, I think the Ferminia or Zapata Ren is my favorite. It's another one of those kind of small uh, little brown jobs that's not very interesting, but it actually has a really beautiful song. What about you, Diego? What's your favorite bird song? I've never asked you that before. Oh, I have to tell you, like, Wato Guan really, really gets me. Is this, is this crazily crescendo and then this ending called very, very whole notes, like very rich. And, and, and you always hear uh, Wato Guan's early morning, like before dawn or, or late afternoon, like normally they don't sing on the day. Uh, so it's this thing that you probably don't see singing and then you have to imagine it and match it, you know, to the bird that you see. So I love it. I love that of, of Wato Guan. It's just lovely. It's just lovely. That is a very cool song. I've only ever heard that bird. I've never seen it before. I've heard it so many times <laughs> in the Colombian Central Andes, in Otum Kimbay and those places. A very cool song. But it's actually it's, one of those birds that, as beautiful as it is, you're quite happy to to hear it sing. Some species you hear calling and you really yeah, want to see the yeah. bird, but a Wattle Guan has such a surreal, intense, loud explosion of song that you're kind of just happy to hear Absolutely. it in the moment. Which is, which is yours then? That's tricky. I, I really love, and it's probably a, a kind of obvious choice, but I really love the screaming piha that you hear all over the Amazon. Just because it's so, for me, it's so completely evocative of place. Like you can only be in one kind of region of the world when you hear that song. And you know instantly when you hear your first screaming piha, it's like, okay, I'm in the Amazon. I'm in the jungle now, because that bird is singing in the background. And just the way that 10 or 12 of them all start up around you at the same time and where there was silence, suddenly there are 10 or 15. I don't know, Diego, can you do the bird song? Are you, can you do that one, the screaming piha? Not, 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 not really well, but they have two, two parts of, of the song. <laughs> and the first one, normally people don't recognize it. They make this little call like, and then it comes the, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they, it's super loud. I'm not, I'm not making like 1% of the yeah. power of the, of the call. It's amazing, amazing bird. It's so loud. It, it, and what's amazing about them as well is that they're, I mean, they're relatively nondescript birds and they have an amazing art of sitting very, very still and not moving very much. So you can have them calling what seems like two feet away because of how loud they are and completely overlook them and miss them. They're not the easiest birds to see even when they're singing, you know, right in front of you. Probably my favorite. And it's probably the most abused bird sound in movies throughout the history. I yeah. mean, you can hear screaming pihas exactly. in yeah. movies in Asia, in Africa, like anywhere that is tropical, screaming pihas. Like, yeah. I don't know why, you know, like special effects, they, they take care and time and money doing great special effects, but not with bird sounds. Come on. Sounds like there's, a, there's an opening, bird, in bird song for, <laughs> an expert in bird song for, for films. It's, it's one of those things where probably somewhere there is a, a set recording that's just called Jungle Soundscape that has been used in every movie set in any jungle in the world ever. I'm pretty sure there's a Screaming Pihar in Rambo, which is in Vietnam, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong there about is, that. There's one on I'm Indiana sure Jones, one in one of the Indiana Jones movies. I mean, like, come on. It sounds like a good game to identify the screaming peahas. In what films can you identify? (laughs) 